You want to say hello? You want to say hello? Long time no see. I am still gorgeous. Isaac, you're doing the shopping, aren't you? Say hello, everybody. <laughs> say, I am now getting around all by myself. Crawling around the house. And I am 10 months old and I'm growing too fast. I'm such a big boy. Very happy for my mummy. <laughs> yes, and you're beautiful and you're beautiful. <laughs> All right. So guys, I thought I would just quickly bring you on. Sorry about the reflection in um, my computer. That's just how it is <laughs> but I'm doing an online Woolworth shop here in Melbourne Australia and um, I thought I would just show you what it looks like if you've been thinking about shopping online now I would recommend um, excuse the mess in the book huh? I would recommend um, this is definitely something that you want to do um, if you're expecting a baby or if you're um, really really busy or if you're sick um, if you work full-time and you don't want to also spend heaps of time at the shops great thing to do I haven't done it in a couple of years but um, uh, this is the second time I've I'm doing a uh, an online shop in in two weeks and I just do a fortnight shop. The other, th yeah, that's one of the great things about it is you know you can shop for a fort for two weeks or a month and um, uh, you don't actually have to load up <laughs> two or three trolleys it's all done for you um, here um, your groceries get delivered to your door you can choose to pick them up but um, once you spend over a certain amount currently my total I'm halfway through my shop currently my total is at $207.92 so currently um, my delivery fee is $9. I believe it's once you spend $300. I could be slightly wrong. It is free for delivery. And I, doing a two-week shop, and I'm trying to budget quite well because I'm saving for a holiday. Um, so I'm planning on spending around the $500 mark, and my delivery to my door is free. So even if you don't have a huge family, and usually you only spend $150 to $250 a week or whatever on your shopping, if you then choose to do a two-week shop or a three-week shop or a month shop instead, you can get that free delivery, you know, and you don't have to be carting around more than one trolley and getting it to and fro and all that sort of business. So <clears throat> it works out really well in that sense as well. Now, the other good thing about it, now it's time-consuming. I find it time-consuming. It's more time-consuming um, than going up and down the aisles. Um, I think I'm a very visual person, so when I'm walking up and down the, the aisles, I just grab things quickly and, you know, I'm out of there in an hour or whatever. Where online, I feel like I need to scan everything. <laughs> I tend to be slower. But the thing is, I mean, you might be quicker than me at doing online shopping. The other thing is that you can do it at your own pace. So I am going to be putting this through to be delivered tomorrow afternoon after, between the schools they have three hour blocks so I'm going to choose for it to be delivered tomorrow between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. because that works well for us and um, but I started this shop last night so in the hour before I went to sleep I just sat there in bed doing a bit of shopping and first I go to the specials area and you can see their half price special so you can quickly go through them see if there's anything that you want or need <clears throat> and save a bundle that way and then I go through my list which I've made very messy list but I do a meal plan then a list makes it a lot easier to shop you can go through with categories or you can go up the top and just search individual things which is what I tend to do I tend to look through the fruit and vegetables and the meat because you get more of a visual idea of you know those sorts of things um, but then if I want, you know, uh, um, coconut cream, <clears throat> then um, I will type in coconut cream and then you can um, choose to look at things by, uh, by unit price um, or by, uh, by actual price, not based on unit price 
or by I think most popular or what you usually buy um, and that sort of thing so so that's where I'm at I have just sat down while Isaac was sleeping <laughs> and done another 15, 15 minutes and just um, finished um, choosing my vegetables and right now he's awake so we're gonna go down I need to actually go out we need to get a one-year-old birthday present for the weekend um, and then for a little party that we're going to yay and then um, I'll come home <clears throat> and whether I do it now or do it later I'll finish off my shop and put it through to be delivered tomorrow afternoon and so I'm just showing trying to show you a bit of this process sorry if I'm dribbling on a bit again but I want to be thorough so um, I'll probably bring you back tomorrow when the shopping arrives and we'll have a little bit of a home delivery haul <laughs> see you then say bye see see you tomorrow guys <laughs> Good. So I just got home from the school run this afternoon and um, the delivery guy was already at my front door <laughs> with my grocery so it was very lucky that yeah. I showed up when I did and okay so this is what it looks like when it comes to my door. Now they do bring them in and pop them in your kitchen if you want. I just have always said oh yeah, I just collect them at the door and chuck them in and then we, we deal with it ourselves. Um, um, I'll I think I've got something else to say and I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, what I'm going to do is bring all of this into the kitchen and I'll unpack it for you. Okay, so this is our Woolworths online shop. So you get funny things like they've put one um, iceberg lettuce in a bag. But I mean, if you're going to recycle the bag, then it's not as bad as if you're not going to recycle the bag, I suppose. And I'm going to recycle the bag. So anyway, an iceberg lettuce. And then... Um, or a big bag of oranges. Have I got that zoomed in a bit? Ooh, there we go. Okay. Okay. And then, so this shows you sort of how they, they pack. The other thing is, like, that is too done up too much. So you do end up not recycling a few bags. <clears throat> so um, we've got both crunchy and smooth peanut butter. These were on sale for sale for a dollar so I put those under my stairs because they're really nice mixed in with ice cream to make like a makeshift ice cream cake in summer aren't they kids some more quinoa because I'm going like that, through that a lot these digestive biscuits the baby loves them so they, I think everyone likes those actually okay and then all oh, this one it's gonna open okay so this I got bacon from the deli And here I have, if I can open the bag <coughs> very quickly, if it will, no it's broken, so it's what you get. Um, I got some party pies, they were on half price, so I got two packets of party pies to put in the freezer for like a weekend treat or something. Um, some chips to go with um, other pies that I got actually for an actual meal. And then we've got <clears throat> carrots. We have mushrooms. I believe I've got two of these. Yes, I see the one, other one over there. I've got some coleslaw. I thought the kids would enjoy that in a sandwich with some sandwich meat to take to school. Something a little bit different. Um, a couple of... What do you call these, Jess? Cauliflower, thank you, end of the day. A couple of cauliflowers, because I'm doing that cauliflower chicken thing that you thought looked nice, And some more uh, mushrooms. And then I got a lot of broccoli. Big lot there, and a big lot here. I think I ended up getting 10 heads of broccoli, because I'm going to be doing a good uh, sort of um, meal prep with that. And I've got a whole heap of breads, that's one white bread, two white breads, three white breads. Usually I don't get white bread at all and lately I've been getting it um, semi-often because that particular brand is really good. <laughs> um, and I get other ones as well, so it's okay. Um, whole meal, whole meal, whole meal, 
And then I might put these bags there for now. And then I've already got a few eggs in the fridge. So I've just got two dozen free range eggs. And more free range eggs. Okay. And then this is, oh, that's opened a bit. That's stir fry veggies. Oh, interesting. I thought it just looked good to put through one of the uh, meal preps I'm doing as extra veggies. They're not even in the recipe, but I'm going to throw those in. Just be careful about Ava. I might just keep them in there. Okay. Please. Okay. And a couple more breads, a different brand. I thought we could try them out. They're the Woolworths brand. Multigrain and multigrain. Multigrain. Ah, uh, that can go in the thing. I got a whole bunch of milk. Now, so basically, I will have to go back for some more milk, but that is uh, a given. And I'll also have to go back for some more bananas. But I did my NQR uh, haul video today as well, which I have made separate to this one just to give you an idea of a few other items that I got. In this fortnight, if you don't know what a fortnight is, because some countries don't use that term, two week period, all right? Um, I'll have to go back to get um, milk and bananas. And I'll probably pretty, <laughs> pretty much and uh, possibly, you know, one or two other little things, but that's about it. I got a couple of long life milks just in case we ever run out because that is never fun is it guys this no, no. <coughs> cantaloupe smells really strong that smells really strong i've got a cantaloupe let's not put that back in a plastic bag oh, wow. really strong okay and then I got some frozen cherries, so they need to go in the fridge. I've got another freezer thing. I got, oh my goodness, this pack of pies is all distorted anyway. They're weird. I've got three packs of beef pies to have as a family, like on, I don't know when. Either the kids will just have them or we'll have them as well. I don't know yet. Okay, I got some kids' bubble baths. A couple of my kids will not be able to tolerate that on their skin, but some can, so that's just a treat. It was like under two dollars, I think. Um, deodorant for my husband. These, I got, oh, what did I get here? Oh, that, that's shower gel. Got shower gel for my husband. And then I got, that's a conditioner. I got the shampoo to go with that too. Oh, there it is. Shampoo to go with that. They're for my bathroom. And then shampoo and conditioner for the kids' bathroom. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so much. Yeah, I know. It's really tough, buddy. At least I didn't have to go to the shops and load it all into the trolley and bring it all out to the car and I bring it all inside. Out bananas, I think I've got 10 bananas, so they'll something I have to go back for. And isn't this funny, okay? So in this one thing, it's a deli item. Twiggy salami. <coughs> Just a little treat. Twiggy salami. Does I daddy love that, doesn't salami. he? Oh, <laughs> okay. What we got here? Oh yes. I actually ordered fresh fish and you can choose whether you allow them to substitute <coughs> items and I chose to allow them to do that. So they've actually fish. This is wild caught. Okay, <coughs> certified sustainable. Okay, that's good. I'm very fussy about where you know where my fish comes from at the moment I'm having difficulty seeing this is weird packed in China fish from the USA um, that can go to the freezer please even in the deep freezer <coughs> okay now uh, yeah I don't know how I feel about that but I'll think about it later now a few um, we call it laundry detergent. Need lots of that around here. Yeah, just a minute, sweetie pie. Um, in in wash booster. Need lots of that around here. 
and some more dishwashing powder just so we don't run out of it. We've already got most of one of those. Oh, thanks, Jack. Okay, come up to this am I? Big shop, guys. Okay, a couple of baby wipes. A baby formula. Thank you. I've got a couple of little snacks because they were half price. For the kiddos to take to school. They're both 12 packs, so that's 24, so that's like seven days worth, school days worth of little snacks. I've got a couple of tunas. I'm doing, I can't remember, maybe a tuna casserole for you guys or something. In the top of the pack, in the pack. Yeah. I'm not sure yet, Sammy. Okay, I've got artichoke hearts for a um, meal prep that I'm doing. I also got some, yeah, it's fine. Some sun dried tomatoes for a meal prep that I'm doing. I got some white vinegar. Oh, wait. I got a huge pack of Smith's chips. I got a soda water. This is actually for a recipe that I'm doing, not for drinking. And I got, ah oh, ha ha ha, southern fried chicken. That is so funny. I just got these in NQR today. And I had also ordered them on, on um, at Woolworth. That's so funny. I thought I saw them on the NQR catalogue. But I must have seen them when I was doing my online shopping and I'd forgotten that I'd ordered them. And I went to NQR today and they were there and I picked them up as well. <laughs> so much bread, I know, because we're going to eat it anyway. So it can go in the deep freezer. That's the excellent thing about having a deep freezer. So I've got two uh, whole meal of uh, that brand. So they can go in the... Okay, I've got a couple of punnets of strawberries. I've already got, I think, two punnets in the fridge. I got a little punnet of tomatoes. Just, I think I'm doing some sort of salad y thing to go with one of the kids' meals. I got a few bowls of garlic. Got a couple of lemons. I've already got some of those in the fridge. I, don't, I didn't realise. I got two avocados and they've put them in an individual bag. How wasteful, but I will use those bags. So at the very least, for scraps, you know. Uh, a cucumber. A bag of mandarins. I've already got quite a few mandarins, so I've just got one extra bag. Yeah, that's... Yeah, another milk. Um, if they don't have something, then you don't get it. So I think I ordered five lots of chicken, and I only got three, because they didn't have five for some reason. So that's really annoying, but at the same time, three will tie me over, and I'll just have to go back for an extra two. And I'll probably just wait to do that until I need more milk. Um, but two big lots of uh, minced beef. And spring onion, scallions, shallots. What else do people call them? All sorts of things. Green onions. These things have a million names. Okay, bell that can go in the bottom of the pantry. A huge thing of potatoes. I'm doing a couple of things with potatoes uh, this fortnight. Okay, so here's the chicken that I ordered. One, two, three. Now the use photo, I'm just going to check that. It's the 22nd. Today's like the 17th, so I'll, I'll be doing a cook-up within the next two days anyway. So it's no, not really an issue, but it's good to just make sure they've given you a decent use by date um, as well. And just go through your itemised account as well at the end. Even You can do it as you're unpacking, but that's going to be more time consuming. I've got a pretty uh, photographic memory, so I can just go through the itemised count after I've unpacked and I'll know what wasn't there. Some ham for the kiddos. I got this butter because it was half price and it's um, pure Irish butter and I just really wanted to know what it tastes like, if it's any better because it's actually usually really expensive. Um, and then I got this, usually I just get regular butter, but I got this which might have some bad oils in it. So it's butter, 38% cream, water, salt, water, canola oil. Yeah, that's really naughty, but it's just um, a time saver at the moment. Um, so that's a big thing, a Greek yogurt for me and the little ones at home. Okay, 
Okay. Granny Smith apples. I don't even remember ordering Granny Smith apples. I'm sure they may have substituted those. I'm sure I ordered different types of apples. Uh, big thing of capsicums or bell peppers, whatever you happen to call them. That, that's one kilo of the things. Two kilo of pears. We're getting there. Lots of shopping. Okay. I got two big things of cheese. So two kilos of cheese, which I'll use for various things. I'll grate it if I need to and yada yada. All right. Oh my goodness, what's in here? Wow. Let's pack this thing crazily. Let's see. I got, oop. How much oil is that? 500 ml of olive oil. I got coconut cream. I think I got a few of those. I think I got, actually, I got like four of those. So yeah, four coconut creams for recipes that I'm doing. And then some diced tomatoes. Just get the home brand because they're a lot cheaper. They're the same thing. Um, and home brand tomato paste times two. Love tomato paste. And arrowroot uh, flour for some cooking. Big thing of nappies. It took me ages to try out these nappies, the Woolworths brand. Actually, they're really good. They're almost as good as, you know, the best nappies on the market. And they are a lot cheaper. And because I'm saving for a holiday, I'm just trying to try some different brands that are cheaper and see what I think and the nappies won. They're, they're quite good. Toilet paper to add to all the other toilet paper we have in the house. Um, and then I think this is, is this the last bag Jack. Excellent. Thanks so much. Got a big thing of baby spinach. How much is that? 280 grams of baby spinach. Ooh. Oh, I've got more strawberries. And two more punnets of strawberries, because apparently you can never have too many strawberries. Um, $487.44. However, they didn't deliver two of the chickens. They didn't deliver uh, lamb that I ordered. Um, so, and then they substituted that fish, but I think it was roughly the same sort of price. Um, yeah, but that's the thing. So they had to substitute the fish. The, the fish that I ordered initially was $17. The fish they substituted was $25, but they only charged me $17 for it. So, you know. So shopping online can have its disadvantages, but it also certainly has its advantages. And um, for the convenience of being able to get everything you need without having to go out, out to the shops is really, really good. So excuse the noises in the background. It's chaotic, crazy afternoon. Got the kids home from school time. So I'll let you go now. Just wanted to show you how the whole Woolworths online shop works. My delivery was free because I spent over a certain amount. And all of that actually came to after. So all of that came to $487.44, but then I'm being refunded $40.43. So basically it came to $447. $7.01. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take care wherever you are. See you later.